I always knew that I wanted to finish my career at home. I grew up uh, doing uh, the Iron Kids race uh, at the Landivisa in Zurich and my grandma lived on the course. We always went back on Sunday and watched the Ironman and 2012 was my first Ironman but four weeks out of the race I was the first time on a time trial bike so uh, let's say preparation looks much more ideal now than it did back then. Somehow I look back to that day uh, almost like the stepping stone into a new career. I always knew that I wanted to finish my career at home. I feel fulfilled with what I've reached in, uh, in sport. You know I'm, I'm happy where I'm at, I'm at because um, whatever comes on Sunday is a bonus. I mean as you said I've finished so many times on the podium, second, third, fourth, fifth in Zurich. I can say I retire as a, at least a three-time Ironman Switzerland champion. So that's already, when you will look back at the guy doing the first triathlon at Iron Kids and would tell him, hey, you will one day retire as a three-time champion. I'm fairly sure that the small little Leon would say, where can I sign? I finished him, yeah, just under 13 hours. <laughs> My first Ironman was in uh, Switzerland back in 2015. I had just started medical school at that time. I was like so immersed with all the, um, yeah, with all the studies, but I felt like I still needed to embrace my, my physical side of things. So then, uh, you know, it's, yeah, for me, it's all or nothing. So I just signed up for an Ironman immediately. And, uh, but uh, I had the study, so I didn't have time to train much. I finished in, yeah, just under 13 hours. <laughs> Signed up for another one uh, next year, then I did much better. After that, I, I chased my Kona qualification. Then I had sort of like a breakthrough a year as an age grouper. Yeah, I won every race, including Kona as an age grouper. After that, I felt like, you know, yeah, I gotta, gotta make it a, get a shot as a pro. Been struggling a little bit since South Africa with, uh, with sickness, trying to find my fitness. But, uh, but now I feel like I'm on, on the right track. It's just gonna be like super fun racing and uh, yeah, let's see what we can do like with, with basically no pressure. I think, uh, you know, back to where it all started, uh, basically, in, in uh, 2015 when I did my first triathlon. So yeah, my, no, no, my plan is to go all out. Like, uh, the plan was actually all this, like, for all the time to do Austria as a Warm-up race and this be the A race. So for some reason I perform well at warm-up races. Uh, I think the form is good like, and I have a, like had had some good training sessions, but I've also been a little bit sick since Austria and like either I'm flying on Sunday or yeah, you'll find me in the post-race tent <laughs> a little bit early. <laughs> I also think that's one of the reasons why the Danes have so much success is we to a certain degree support each other and I think there's a lot of healthy competition like we want to beat each other but we want to beat each other at our best if i'm at a race i'm gonna race maybe i can take a little bit more chances but again like when you're out there it's not like you're thinking like oh this is a good chance like most of the time you're just like racing the race so yeah my no no my plan is to go all out on sunday you just want to put everything out there I did a small local trail triathlon in Sweden. Uh, it was very cold in the waters. I remember doing like backstroke and butterfly and all kinds of freaked out and panicked. Uh, but I had fun and got hooked on triathlon, definitely. Did my first Ironman, I think in 2012, 2013. I see myself as a runner as well, especially I think for the last five or 10K. Uh, I'm usually able to keep the pace. Uh, I like two days before the race to like have a day off or maybe train in the morning, do a swim or easy run, but day off, lay in the bed, relax, like feel focused. The day before, it's always things to do. You need to check in the bike, you need to do all the stuff. But I'd, I also like to do some swim, bike and run just to feel good. I mean, once you cross the finish line, that's, that's amazing. You feel, you just want to put everything out there. You want to feel that, okay, I did everything I could. If that ends up being a fifth or sixth or 10th or I don't know, 50th place, it doesn't really matter as long as 
you could give it all and really try. Uh, hopefully it's enough for a win or at least podium. It's a beautiful course, it's a hilly course. Yes, 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 you don't have to finish your question. Yes, I try to repeat my victory, of course. I mean, you, you, you want to feel it a second time. So I did my first triathlon uh, at the age of 16. It was a sprint triathlon. On the race, I was, I was quite actually good um, after the bike. And then, but on the run, I was like dying. That's the reason why to continue. That's the sport for me. I was always in the nature, you know, loving to swim in the, in, in the, in the sea, in the open water and love uh, doing some mountain biking at home. My dad said like, yeah, there's a sport like with all three disciplines. Um, and I said, oh, that's the sport for me uh, because I love all the three sports. Preparation is really, really important. If you're good prepared, then race day is way more relaxed. Go through the, the race in, like in practice and also in your head. Uh, I look at the course. I was on the course uh, five weeks ago. And yeah, so I know the course pretty well. It's a beautiful course, it's a hilly course. And this is what I, what I really prefer, you know. You can like just push a big gear and uh, that's what I, what I love. And yeah, that's what suits me the most. I want to try and push a swim bike and then hope that things come together on the run. I come from a swimming background, so I basically raced 15 years as a swimmer and then decided in sort of like 2015 I'd had enough with kind of swimming. Um, made the shift over to triathlon 2018 um, and then yeah, just uh, trying to make my, way, make my way up in the pro ranks now. So it was actually, I watched the 2017 Ironman World Champs in Kona. I knew uh, Lucy and Reese, Charles Barkley back from the swimming days, so similar ages to them. Yeah, that just kind of sparked my like, oh, what's this Ironman thing? And then a bit like every amateur has, it's kind of that like, I think I can do that. That looks like a fun challenge. And doing 15 years in competitive sport, that itch needs to be scratched. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful course, uh, amazing atmosphere. And I think what's really nice is it's the last like European qualifier for Ironman World Champs in Nice. I want to try and push the, push the swimming bike and then hope that things come together on the run. And I'm just trying to keep chipping away. I feel like if I put myself in the right position all day, uh, I should be, you know, right at the pointy end of the race. And if that gets me near the podium or within the top five, you know, that would be a, a really solid day for me. But I definitely want to be competing, uh, hopefully, right at the top. Daniela is a good friend and lives close by. So, yeah, I do have some tips from her. Is, is, is a home race close to Bern where I grew up and um, it's the only Ironman in Switzerland so it's almost it's one of the most important races for me so at the beginning of the year I knew I haven't been well on the Ironman distance arrived yet so I knew I need more years but I just decided hey let's go we have to do this race we have to prepare well and even though the main focus still is on the 70.3 world champs this year I trained really well for the Ironman distance like the last let's say two, one two months I, I focused on it I did that in St. Moritz, where it was a bit colder than here now. I always got tips from her, like nutrition and training and preparation. Daniela is a good friend and lives close by. So yeah, I do have some tips from her. I think with the Olympics, that, that was a huge race. Like uh, Rio, the first time, all the cameras, all the stress, you know, all those people around there. And I think that's, I learned that in Rio and then I compete, competed a lot better in, in Tokyo because I knew how much stress is on you. And I think that's something I can bring into like big races, like when it's, when I can qualify for Hawaii or for Nizza, I think that's something I already have in my pocket that I know how to handle the stress. My swim bike combo is for sure in the, the world top. Yeah, I mean, I, I really always go with my stomach feeling and uh, yeah, that's just go hard and then spare some uh, energy for, for the last run part. I moved to uh, Girona in February. The last couple of months I trained with like 35, 37 degrees Celsius. I'm used to the heat, but the race is always different. I think my swim bike combo is for sure in the, the world top.
No, I'm not qualified. That's one of my uh, yeah my reason, main reasons for Sunday to qualify for Nice. I think, especially as a good uh, cyclist and downhill as well. I'm well. I can see myself competing really well in uh, Nice. I want to win on Sunday, so that's that's my my reason and my my goal to be here. Triathlon uh, community is just super friendly, super open for every everyone, everybody. I had a kind of a dep depression after my cycling career. Uh, triathlon community just yeah welcomed me with open arms, and it was just a beautiful act. And I think triathlon is such a nice sport. Everybody does it. Everyone does it together. So that's nice.